Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're continuing on with our Elithanar campaign. So, here's the old boy. Yeah, I mean, you can dance if you want to. You can leave your other gods behind. Um, right, let's, uh, should we call it Shadow? Shadow dances, really, shouldn't they? Um, but that's already a thing. So, right, yes, you loiter over there, maybe. I think we're done. Let's move on. Not a lot going on. You know, with each turn, just yet. But, uh, as you can see, uh, Cow and has got a big old army. Big old army to have to deal with. Also, I kind of want to attack the Blooded Axe tribe. Um, the kind of army that I've got is perfect against Beastmen. It's just so good. So good. Because, yeah, the poison slowing them down, it means they can't catch up to you. And, uh, of course, just Beastmen just don't have much armor. Like, these mining tools get torn to shreds by Shadow Walkers. Um... Which is awesome. So, spear wall we have now, which is sort of fine. I mean, extra extra damage from spearmen is sort of pointless. So like, 10% extra damage, it's 10% of sod all. They're just not offensive units. They're defensive units, you know. They hold. That's their job. Oh yeah, let's do that. Start to cheer up now. A lot of it military crackdown, because, you know, I killed all those dark elves. But still. Okay, so over here, we can actually do an ambush. My forces advance. Yeah, I know. I told them to. I know they're advancing. You weirdo. Uh, ambush. So hopefully, this army will run into me, and that would be great if that was the case, because I can outrange all of these handbows. So, with lower leadership, because, you know, when you get ambushed, your leadership is lower. Um, there's a, a leadership debuff to being ambushed. So, these guys will break really quickly, because I can just shoot them from all sides, poison them, scare the crap out of them. It'd be great. And then maybe maybe just charge them with an eagle as well. But probably just throw the decoy at them to keep them busy. Uh, let's go with that as well. Yeah, God, I need to just get this province sorted, don't I? So I can start attacking things. We play a Skaven here to fight as well, which would be fun. Because, yeah, it looks like Skaven are doing quite well. But, yeah, I will need to start heading south. Although I want to take out Malekith pretty quickly as well. And, and this stuff in the north, you know? Taking the north might be good too. Not sure. Not sure where I'm going to want to go. We'll see. It'll probably be determined by who declares war on me. Because no doubt, someone will declare war on me. We'll see. Oh, ambush failed. Yeah, they're attacking now. Crap. God damn it, what are the chances? Um, slim. Slim, basically. So the ambush chance at 100%, but it doesn't mean 100%. Uh, not really. That's the... That's the sort of base chance of your character ambushing there, but that is affected by the characters that may spot you. It's um, it's like 10% per character, I think. So, we had an 80% chance to be hidden, I think, if that's the still the figures, 10% per guy. Um, and other skills will change that as well, I think, but anyway. Um, or it might be actually 20% for a lord and 10% for a hero, something like that. Either way, the more characters there are nearby, the more chances of you getting spoiled. But, this is a pretty crappy army. Because it's all spears. It's all dread spears. Um, and, well, the handbows. But the handbows, I can just skirmish. Um, I can outkite these guys and just shoot them to pieces. So this might be okay, but it's probably going to be a little difficult just because of how many spears there are. Like, there's, yeah, they can outnumber my spears a huge amount. And with Murderous Prowess, they're just going to do more damage than me, um, sadly. Although I guess, yeah, I mean, I've got way better defensive stats, but... Mm, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I think. Eep. Wait, I can just run off. That is obviously an option. But, they're probably going to catch me again. So, there is that. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to fight it. I'm just going to have to fight it. But yeah, if I can shoot these uh, handbows... Just shoot the snot out of them. We'll, we'll be fine. Alright. Excellent. So. Hmm. What's the plan here? Do I want to hide behind this? I think the answer is yes. Boop. Let's just hide over here. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, right. You lot get over here. You uh, also hide in here. Wonderful. Uh, an eagle. You can hide up in that tower. Isn't that nice? So let's actually split these guys up a little bit. Because I want them spread out so they can shoot things in either side. Um, right, so they won't actually be able to see anything, which is pretty funny. So, let's start with that guy. 
Okay. So they, I don't think they can see anything except the eagle, actually. Which is pretty wonderful. God, I wish I had the moon bow. You could just shoot into here, that'd be so good. Because I don't have the ability to shoot with it, but I should still be able to get some good kills here. Come on. Come on. Stop firing, you lunatic. Really? Really? I can't want you to shoot into the crowd, mate. Ugh. Rubbish. And actually, I'm going to take these off fire at will. I don't want to shoot any spears. I want to only shoot the handbows. Only the handbows. Excellent. And let's distract him. Charles! Nice. Some good damage. Pretty happy with that. Alright, boys. Get some shots in. Excellent. And yep, he's getting shot. Oh no. My decoy. Whatever will I do? You know what? You actually shoot them. That'd be fine. Good. They're running. Next lot. Alright, they're getting whittled down. Being a very nice distraction, which I like to see. They're taking a lot of damage too. They're getting whittled down. That'll be the next bunch. Okay, decoy's gone. But that went well. That definitely went well. Okay, you lot next. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Easy, baby. Hold together. Okay. They're finally in range of us. Which is a pity, but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> Dealing a lot of damage to these spearmen as well. Oh. Yeah, you guys keep backing up. Alright, at this point, I think I will put them all on fire at will. Because the enemy's getting quite close and I just want to keep shooting them. Good. See? We're getting some damage into them. I mean, they're firing back now, which is no good. No good at all. Okay, how are you guys doing? Doing alright? <gasps> we lost one! That won't do. Alright, get in there. Teach him what for. Okay, this is probably a good idea. I'll just put them on skirmish mode. I can time to attack what I like. Um, yeah, you attack them. Cool. Good job, boys. Right, go attack him, too. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a decoy up. Okay, good. Proud of you, boys. Alright, next bunch. And yep, then he dealt with. And some more handbows over here. This isn't fun. Alright. Yep, sorted. Good job, boys. Oh, my word. Really, guys? Really? You're gonna get that killed? Guys. Okay, go. somewhere else. Dive on top of them. Good. Oh, they're still going. My word. You're near the edge now. Very near the edge. Don't want that to happen. Alright. And you're going to have to keep running. Good boy. And yeah, you get out of there, lads. Alright. Time to move the spearmen in, I think. Start moving out this way. Uh, he's got skirmish mode. It's all good. Uh, you go back on skirmish, but also shoot these guys in the butt. Ah, <laughs> nice. Alright. You guys go off skirmish mode. You guys keep running. Okay, go for his hand bows, please. Yep, he's still running. Okay, good. 
Okay, you start running that way. Alright, you dive on top of them. Okay, so what's going on over here? Uh, yeah, you start running. <clears throat> Come on, boys. You start running at them if you could. Thank you. Yeah, you keep shooting them from into the... Yeah, shoot at the back of them. There we go. Okay, you guys keep running. Let's get surround on these spears. I think we can take them out nice and quick. I mean, I hope so. This being pinned in here nonsense is uh, a little iffy. That's also a bit iffy. Oh, yeah, you're still going. Guys, don't be so spread out like this. This is just silly. Come on. Alright, you get stuck in as well. Alright, you guys are out of ammo. It's getting a bit messy, isn't it? Alright, you guys back up. You're taking far too much damage, boys. Far too much. God, I always forget how squishy they are. Very squishy. Also him. Go on, Lithana. Heal yourself up, yeah? Looks like we're getting them, though. Looks like we're getting them. And, yeah, you guys keep running, actually. Okay. That charging. You guys keep shooting, whatever. You lot over here. You've still got some ammo, so that's all good. Uh, yeah, shoot him. Just shoot, shoot this guy. Probably kill him pretty quick. Oh, they're out of ammo. Alright, you're going to have to chase those handbows down. Hopefully you can kill them. And, ooh. Those Shadow Walkers having trouble. Alright, you run over there. You're still getting shot, that's why. I think we can lose those Shadow Walkers. How did you guys get caught? Seriously. Skirmish mode is the stupidest thing. So many people say, like, oh, skirmish mode, it's overpowered. In multiplayer, anyway. Uh, it's not. <laughs> it's so easy to trip up the AI. The AI, like, barely skirmishes properly. It's really stupid. You can get caught out so many times. Okay. Right, come on. Come on, boys. Finish them off, yeah? Yeah, you charge the back. Perfect. Uh, they're running now. Which makes sense. You heal yourself again. Ah, yeah, looks like looks like army lost about him. Perfect. All right. So yeah, hundred kills, hundred kills, hundred kills, seventy-seven kills, hundred and twenty kills. Yeah, we got a lot of kills with our shadow warriors, with our shadow walkers rather. Because yeah, we're pretty heavily outnumbered there. So it makes sense the odd unit did take some damage. All right, good job, lads. Good job. When you're ready. Good, good. Okay. So. So they got pretty hurt. Uh, we didn't lose any units. Uh, I do want to get forced labor, though, because I do want to replenish these guys. In fact, if I do that, it looks like we're mostly replenished, which is perfect. Our eagle is still pretty injured. Poor eagle. Okay, so. Got some new traits out of it, too. I'll have to check those out in a minute. Yeah, they're still going. It's going to replenish themselves. So that's not necessarily the victory we would have wanted. Uh, Grey Point Scuttler's still on the move. Okay, so ambush foiled. Yes, yes. Uh, mission issued. Carry out a successful hero action. Uh, do we have a hero? Yes, we do. Good. We got given a noble. That's nice. Uh, pigeon Plug Appendant. Useless. Absolutely useless. Hate that thing. Anyway, uh, extra leadership against Dark Elves, which is nice. We've achieved victory over uh, Dark Elves multiple times. The Drukiai, for all their perverse cruelty, are just elves, as fey and one as others of their kind. Virtuous noble, a highborn warrior of the Azur, has arrived at court and pledged his services to you in whatever capacity you see fit. He respectfully awaits for your orders. Okay, so we have a noble. Uh, they might just join the army. Although, don't want to do that yet, because I may besiege this now. Because, yeah, they don't have a great garrison, and we have replenished mostly. So, let me see, that would... Hang on. Let's not do it. Okay, Siri's trying to talk to me. Shut up, Siri! 
So I can't actually attack there, apparently. Which is sort of annoying. I would have thought I could. But apparently not. So I mean, I can't quite reach, so it's not going to go past him. Maybe. That's only 50% movement. Like, that's super weird. I don't know. I don't know why it won't let me attack that straight away, but fine. Um, right. What are we doing? Let's go with... Do you want to start getting these things? Hmm. I, I never loot settlements. Recruitment cost, I mean, I'm barely going to be recruiting. Iron disciplinarian, I mean, fine, but we're going to be on the offensive with him a lot. That's the annoying thing. None of these ones are useful, but this is. This is very useful. Extra 30% to ambush. I mean, that on top of, what was it, this one? No, this one? Oh, wow, that's all army 6%. That's really good. Ooh. Uh, another 15%. That's 45% extra to ambush. That's pretty much gap. I mean, we're on 100% ambush in a good spot. So, that would be ridiculous. That, that would basically be 100% of the time would be an ambush. So I think I do want to get something down here. So I guess we'll go Iron Disciplinarian, maybe. Uh, oh, I guess I don't want to get ambushed either, so I'll go wary. Why not? Bit of a shame, but is what it is. Uh, so yeah, that guy will have to... Um, Arathian will have to join us in a minute. Because I want to whittle these guys down. Hopefully this will be an ambush. It is. It is. Alright, you're dead. Get out of my house. Good. And Force Labor. Good. Wow. That went very well. We've got, uh... Oh, <laughs> mad. Mad replenishment from taking him out. Okay, now we're going to attack this so they won't get the replenishment. Okay, so how's this look? Very, 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 very good. Excellent. Let's, uh... Let's wipe out this faction, then. Alright, then. So, Eagle. You be useful. Good boy. Uh, I don't want my eagle getting knackered. He's he's very injured, so. I want him to stay alive. Uh, boom. And you lot hide there. Good. Pretty straightforward. So, let's get the decoy out. Straight away. It's me, the decoy. Surprise! And there's a death hag in here as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, okay, that's annoying. Can you can you not? Should be gone soon. All right, you attack over there. Wow, they got shattered very fast. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm gonna heal him up a bit. Uh, wow, you took some damage there too, huh? Jeez. Yeah, it's from these lads. Oh, you start shooting them. They're shard. These guys aren't really doing anything right now. Uh, you get those dark shards. Perfect. Yeah, they're getting whittled down. Alright, you guys can move in. And you guys, you hide. You can hide. Okay, let's kill a death hag. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, how are you lot doing? Uh, yeah, you start shooting them, I think. See if we can't kill uh, Shakara. Should get whittled down fairly quickly, I think. Okay, you start moving around the outside. And, yeah, take out his hand bows if you could. Oh, Dark Shard shooting at me from over there. Don't like that. And, okay, you guys are pretty injured. Perfect. So, if you look, just um, deal with them, that'd be great. God, you guys got injured, huh? My word. Alright, you start shooting them. Okay. Start shooting them. You lot move in. And yeah, let's just start charging things. Because why not, right? Why the heck not? How are you not doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Well played, boys. Uh, and they're nearby, which is nice. Okay, you just charge them. Just, just kill them. Just kill them, boys. You got your anti-infantry, it's all good. And, yep. They're dealt with. Keep charging in. You lot have dealt with them rather nicely. So you lot start charging in. Uh, Shakara is nearly dead. Which is nice to see. I must say. Uh, for them, they're doing fine. 
And, yep, they're wiped out, so let's go for those dark shards. And you lot, go for those dark shards. And yeah, I don't like... Oh, yep, army lot's about to hit. Good. Looks like we've taken it. Did Shikara die? Not yet. In that case... Uh, boop. Okay. Make sure they're all off skirmish, and you all go for Drakara, please. I want her killed. I want her dead. And... She's dead. Excellent. There's a mission to kill her, you know. I want to see it through. <laughs> Alright. Job well done. I only lost 90. They lost 900. Pretty good. So let's occupy it. And, uh... Oh, wow. Food to present ward save. Yes, please. Um, so. The Dark Elf scum proves stubborn. Uh, no longer, mate. No longer. Alright, so we did that. Destroyed... Oh, wow. We only had two more turns left. Destroy car and car. That was lucky. Okay, good. Issue a commandment. Oh, I bet I can do that. Just a hunch. Bash corruption. Uh... Let's have a look. One of them gave us um, a right. What was it? Reaver patrols. Reaver patrols. So that's cool. Um, campaign movement range. Minus 10 for enemy armies. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, just... Mm, some ambush success chance. I mean, that's not bad. I guess. Probably change that once we've done the mission, honestly. And yeah, you start heading there. Uh, people don't seem very happy because of conquest, but... Other than that, I think it'll start cheering up. So that's nice. Cool. Good job. Good job, everybody. Moving on. Oh, beastmen are leaving. Oh, I was thinking of fighting them. But no, no, they're gone. Uh, they're leaving. And so are the Grey Point Scuttlers, who declare war on me for some reason. Alright, so. We did it. We did the thing. We got the uh, we got the right of Morag Heg, uh, Morai Heg. Uh, oh, brilliant! We actually have quite a lot of money all of a sudden. That's good news. Uh, right, so now that we got that right, uh, I'm going to want to change this to something more useful. So untainted would be quite nice, but actually it looks like there's no fear of taint in here yet. So I guess uh, I mean income from trade and tax seems nice, but I think maybe we go growth. Also, that's a good point. I haven't even bothered to do any trading yet. I can't. No trading to be had. Except maybe Tyranoch. Uh, God, they're not that into me, are they? Uh, I mean, they're getting happier. Oh, I've done treaties with them already. Interesting. We've got a non-aggression pact with them. Didn't realise that. Even then, though, um, aversion, minus 30. They just don't like a Lithanar. That's the problem. Just don't like a Lithanar. And yep, yeah, they're my only hope of a trade deal anytime soon, so never mind. Right, where do I want to go next? Huh? Where am I going to go next? I'm going to go fight Clan Rictus. I think taking out Clan Rictus would be nice. It'd be nice not just fighting uh, Dark Elves forever. That's kind of the problem with campaigns up here. You tend to fight the same faction forever, and I just... Oh, it's very tedious. So, let's move along. Uh, you can stay happy. Mostly. They should cheer up in a minute. Minus two, but provincial stability is minus two, so that should end up um, evening out. And once Karankar is upgraded... Oh, actually, the uh, colonnade isn't, isn't done yet. Oh, and we did a hero action. Lovely. So there's more influence away fragments. Brilliant. Uh, so, now we have strong, loyal, heroic allies. I'll waste no more time and set them to work. Uh, don't tell me what to do. So, let's attack the monoliths next. Probably be Clan Erectus. So we'll take all this stuff out. Should be fun. Should be fun, being able to fight uh, fight some Skaven, especially with this army. Again, like, Skaven, not a lot in the way of armour, so this is perfect. Uh, certainly early on. They might have the odd, like, Storm Vermin that um, they might have started the campaign with, but... Yeah, I can I can bully them, fine. Alright. Uh, oh, mission failed. That means we've got new ones. Ooh, they're going to kill Malekith, huh? And Sloppy Crookshank, of course. Uh, oh. Wait, hang on. It's a different Shakara, but this one is from Tyranok. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. However, might kill Malekith. You actually get things and kill Malekith. Oh, High Elves like us, and it causes terror when fighting against Dark Elves. Oh, only for 20 turns. That's a shame, actually. That's a real pity. That'd be a great thing to get forever. And hang on a minute. 
<gasps> He's here. You know what? I think we might be able to kill him. I think we might be able to. Also, uh, I could just go ahead and do this so I can get this chap. The Hand of the Shadow Crown. Excellent. Now we have uh, uh, Yelgrin. Hello, Yelgrin. Oh, wait, no. My bad. Uh, Yelgrin. No skills. Can't get skills. He's just He just exists to, to attack stuff. Can you embed? You can't. Can't even embed. He is literally just an assassin. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually got one of these guys. I don't think I've ever actually played a Elithar campaign. <laughs> Come to think of it. I might have done. I might have done. Might have played a bit. I forget. Most of my knowledge of it comes from that head-to-head -head campaign I did with Gobbo um, like a year ago. That was fun. Um, I, I wasn't playing as um, uh, Elithanar, though. He was. I was playing as What's-A-Face. Um, uh, Hellebron. That's the one. And yeah, we're going to declare war. Hello, Tretch. I've decided that uh, you need to die. So, monoliths. I really don't need to try. It's just... Let's just call that a day. <laughs> Bold. Oh, I was personally involved in combat during battles. Good lad. And rampage is standard to give to an assigned unit. Yeah, that's... Yep, got some real rampaging units here. Maybe go to the noble, actually. Do you know the noble could work? Because uh, he'll have a good charge bonus once I've got him on a chariot. And... Oh, I've got the signs of Mathlan now. That's good. They're actually pretty great, signs of Mathlan. I like them. Uh, so, Revenant calls fear. That's not a bad idea. Um, I mean, it unlocks all this other stuff, so we'll we'll start making our way there. Get his special ones. Now you, let's go with replenish troops. Because I want to make sure that uh, he keeps doing just that, basically. So, uh, Twisted Glade, Hotex Column. What next? Maybe Twisted Glade next. And then we'll go to Hotex Column. So I go boop, boop, and then to, yeah, fight Nagarond. And you, yeah, I just want you over here. Maybe go kill Malekith if you can. I'm happy to kill Malekith there, but it would be nice doing combat, so Elithanar gets whatever it is that you get for having killed Malekith. I don't even know what that is, actually. I have no idea. You know, by that I'm talking about the, the skill, you know. When you attack a legendary lord and you kill him, you get a you get a reward for defeating them. I just don't know what that is. So, we'll see. Sword of Cain's been claimed, huh? Avalon, is it? <laughs> Probably. Probably. Right. Uh, so I will actually need to send someone around, you know, exploring soon. Um, I'll have to. Also, we are really broke. We do need to get our income up. Which, I guess we probably could if I sent someone off the other direction. Um, oh well. So yeah, hanging out at the crossroads means we can change direction if need be. If we suddenly see... A naughty boy. Oh, cult of pleasure we spoiled. That's actually a bit annoying, because if they're bordering here, they're probably going to attack us. And also, Vol's Anvil is here. So it looks like cult of pleasure may have... Yep, they have Vol's Anvil. So I have to fight her. Um, I don't really want to be at war with all the main Dark Elves, but... Oh well. Because yeah, basically with, with our income, as it is, um, with these crappy areas, um, our income is rubbish, so we can only really have the one army. <laughs> like, at a time. Um, so it'd be a Lithanar just running back and forth, which would be a bit taxing for him. So I want to deal with one thing at a time. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Twisted Glade, then. Let's do it. Uh, again, no point really doing anything. Charge bonus, we'll put it on the on Arathian, even though he has no charge bonus yet. He's still on foot, but whatever. Uh, might be worth putting it on the Eagle, actually. Just guarantee a really solid hit early. You know? Not a bad idea. Anyway, uh, yeah, auto-resolve. No point fighting this. Job done. Uh, occupy that too. Clan Richter's not doing so hot, huh? Not doing so hot. Confident attacker now. Nice. Ooh, potion of healing. That's great news. That's very good. I might give that to the noble. Yeah, I think I give it to the noble. There we go. I don't need a Lithanar, not really. And yeah, let's give you the shield of the Merworm as well. And, ooh, give you a ward save. I do just want this guy actually in combat. Um, I don't need to give those buffs to Elithanar, because Elithanar's, yeah, if he's in melee, I'm doing something wrong. Uh, oh. Moonbow, huh? Hmm. Does that mean I'm going to get a quest for that, or do I just have it? Not sure. Um, Renegade. Extra 6%. 
Uh, missile damage is pretty great. Although, I don't like that that's going to upset the High Elves. I want to get a couple of trade agreements before I get that. Which is annoying, but... Uh, Spectre sounds great. Uh, this one, just extra missile damage and weapon strength. Pretty huge, actually. And post-income loot, post-battle income as well. And that makes Shadow Warriors better. God, these are all pretty good. I'll probably end up with all of these, honestly. Um, I think I'll start with Ruthless, just because it upgrades our Shadow Walkers, which would be good. But yeah, that's pretty scary. 33 missile damage Shadow each. That's, uh, yeah, that's tasty. And yeah, I guess we'll do that. We have a lot of growth buildings here, which is nice. Revenge. Nice to see. Uh, that's still getting upgraded. Tell you what, maybe I won't get that yet. Or will I? Yeah, I will. I will. Okay, Weapon Master for you. Perfect. And uh, we'll head to Hotex Column next turn. Brilliant. Making some progress. Oh yeah, and Yeldgren needs to move as well. You get in there, mate. Go uh, go start assassinating people. Ooh, new factions. Uh, oh, look at that. Wow, Circuit Destruction is actually quite... Uh, eh, it's not that close. Quite close to uh, Hotex Column. So yeah, that army I'll be fighting next. Oof. Could be tough. Could be tough. Alright. Technology researched. Okay, we've got to come up with something new to research. I don't know what. Honestly. Uh, Illyrian Reavers. Probably end up with a couple of Illyrian Reavers somewhere at some point. Okay. Do you want to start by killing him? 100% positive outcome. Really? Wow. Uh, so I just will kill the Hand of Shadow Crown. Oh. I didn't realize they were disposable like that. In that case... Hello, Malekith. You're dead now, apparently. Huh. Cool. Might as well. Even though I would like the skill. Also, I just kind of want to kill Malekith. Of course, Terra now. So there we go. Ton of money. Ton of influence. And, uh, and Malekith's dead, so we'll get that... Uh, High Elves will like us, so we'll get a trade deal with him. And also, cause a terror when fighting against Dark Elves. Which is lovely. Very, very nice. And he's been killed. Poor guy. Poor dear. So, can I get more of them? 12 turns, huh? So what, every 15 turns I can get one. I have to make sure I keep doing that, because 100% chance to kill someone is... It's pretty good, huh? It's pretty good. Uh, so I can't quite reach Hotex Column. But without Malekith here, this army will be a lot easier to kill. Because, yeah, Death Hag with no armor, shoot the snot out of her. Same with the Witch Elves. They're just really dread spears. Like, who cares? This stuff would be easy. None of these Dark Shards have shields, so they'll die in seconds. It's a really easy army to deal with. Real easy. Uh, I can't see... Um, uh, old What's-His-Face. Um, okay, Strength Rank is really low for Tret, so I'm not sure his army's still alive. So I think, I think his army got wiped out by Nagaroth. So I don't think we'll actually get the chance to fight him. I think we'll just take that and that'll be it for his faction. Which is a pity. Oh well. Uh, right, let's get the harbour built. Let's cheer him up with one of those. And... Ooh, do I want to start getting some wizards? Probably, right? Oh, some chariots would be nice. Some chariots would be good. They'd, they'd go down a treat. Um, I'll get the Elven Embassy. Elven Embassy is pretty great. Yeah, that extra trade and everything is uh, pretty tasty. And also, ports. Extra income from ports in this province. I have three ports in this province, so that could add up very quickly. That'll help my economy out a lot. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, why are you guys upset? You Difficult level in taxes, huh? Yeah, you guys need to cheer up. Uh, that's going to go to five, so it should be okay. should be okay. I think. But it's plus three, because that's, that's plus one, isn't it? This? No, it's not. So, I mean, that's plus three already. That is plus three. Ah, crap. I'm going to put it up by two. Which means I need another building to cheer him up. Oh, that's annoying. All right. I'm going to have to stop taxing them at one point. That's very upsetting. And these guys are obviously miserable because I've been wiping everything out and the corruption's horrible. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of rebellions I'll be dealing with over the next little while, I reckon. Right, so, uh... Yeah, let's just finish off... Clan Rectors, I guess. Ambush on Murta Can Cankered? Murta Cankered. Dead. Sorry, mate. We did a great job. We actually leveled up our units for that. That's pretty funny. 
Wow. All right. Um, speed of a Syrian. Nah, I can't be bothered with that. Not right now. Uh, no rest for the wicked. Perfect vigor. Is that just for us or is that for the army? That's for the army. That's ludicrous. Also, in a <laughs> naval stalk. That's pretty wild. I like that too. Uh, hmm. Yeah, he got some fun stuff. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, let's go with Spectre. Extra ambush success chance is wild. Let's do that. And you there. Let's go with... Hard to hit. I want him to stay alive for longer. That's that's what I want from him. He's in combat. Oh, there is Tretch. Okay. Okay. It's just um, these guys not um, being considered important, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to continue the siege. Let them attack me. Uh, oh, actually. Let's get a ram being built. I don't want to make the same mistake I did last episode. So, let's let them attack us. Which they probably will. And then we can murder them. Perfect. Yes, they aren't that troubled. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Uh, right. So, Tyrannoch. Hey, mate. Really? Don't want trade agreement. Come on. You like me, though. No, oh, apparently not. Well, fine. Be that way. Alright. So, Claw Coast is gonna... Uh, that's this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna rebel. Which is fine, I guess. Tretch doesn't want to attack me, which is annoying. Okay, fine, fine. It's just going to get attacked. Whatever. Doesn't bother me. Bothers me a little bit. Uh, right, so, yes. Uh, Slaver's Point next? I'm going to do Slaver's Point next. Hmm. Don't know. What's the advantage of any of these? I don't know. I'll do Slaver's Point. Why not? Let's just get that done. Uh, I get a better, better port there, and I do have a watchtower already there, so it's, you know, slightly better defended than the rest, which is useful. Um, so, do I attack this then? I don't really want to have to attack this. Um, I don't like sieges, but I reckon I could do all right here. I reckon I can probably deal with it. Um, hmm. Really can't decide. I really can't decide whether I want to fight this or not. Because yeah, I mean, most of the clan rats and things shouldn't be too much of a problem. The storm vermin would be a bit annoying, but I think I can probably shoot them. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let him attack me. I'm in no hurry. I mean, yeah, there's rebellion and things, but like, eh, whatever. It's fine. And there's the rebellion. Yeah, there it is. And they're going to attack me, huh? Um, you know what? I mean, Compule here is going to be a bit of a nuisance, but I think with the Illyrian Reavers, I might be able to do all right. Except, ah, uh, it's going to be one of those things where I think I can do all right, but with all the chevrons, these guys are just going to be way too stubborn. So, it's fine. I'll just lose that. Hopefully they won't raise it. Oh, wait. Hard to tell, because it's Gaven. They might have raised it, might not. Impossible to tell. <laughs> it didn't say raised, so... Oh, it does say raised. Never mind. Okay, maybe it was raised. I really don't know. Uh, can you attack already? It's going to be 12 turns while they surrender. When are they going to start suffering attrition? How long? Six turns. Jesus, really? Ugh, they're not going to attack me for ages. I, I find starving places out, it takes too long in this game. Like, way too long. Like, having to wait, like, eight turns for them to start taking damage is... Yeah, that's ludicrous. Alright, still not willing to attack me. Still not willing to attack me. And... This place is going to rebel some more. Oh my god, I'm going to lose this entire province just waiting for this to... Attack, aren't I? So I've got no money, really, so I can't really get another army. Um... Alright, tell you what, I'm going to retreat. Because what I can do is hopefully ambush Tretch. So, I'm actually going to do that. So, I'm going to break the siege. I'm going to set up an ambush. Hopefully he'll fall for it. And if not, it means I can go kill that rebellion. Although, actually, I might not be able to kill the rebellion, because they might do what they did last time in attack in the first turn. Which uh, I thought was a bit ridiculous, honestly, but whatever. 
Uh, so, ambush. Boom. Research available. Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, actually, trade advancements. Let's try that. I get some of this stuff, even though none of this helps me a huge amount, does it? Uh, actually, potentially. Yeah, some of this could help. Some of that could help. Alright, imminent rebellion. Fine. Moving on. There it is, and it's not attacking just yet. Good. So, yeah, I can go attack that. At least I don't think it's attacking just yet. It might do. Uh, okay, he hasn't spotted me. Good. Alright, no ambushes. Oh, no, it is attacking straight away. Really? I will leave the well, that's just annoying. The that's Asua. very annoying. Um. Oh, screw it. They can have it. There we go. Raised. Maybe. Maybe not. Don't know. Hard to tell. Reminds me of Avalon. Oh, it was actually raised. It actually was raised. Yeah. Alright. Kill Shikara. I'm not going to do that. Oh, mission aborted. Good. Is he, I don't want to kill her. She's a potential ally. It's a weird thing to say. Okay. <gasps> Good. Finally. Finally willing to trade. I means I met some other people who aren't willing to trade with me. How about you? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. As you say. Excellent. Okay, good. Starting to start to make some friends. Finally. All right. So these guys still not attacking me, which is annoying. God, all this sitting around and waiting is very frustrating. That and all these, you know, these being lost is also very annoying. But it's fine. Uh, God, what next? I can't get any of these. I need more buildings. Hmm. Yeah, expansion's not going great. I'm on 1030. I have a province. Wow. That's pathetic. Yeah. Tough to expand when you got such a flimsy army. Oh well. Okay. Ambush foiled. Really? Wow, that's surprising. Uh, really? You're going to rebel now? Can you not? Okay, let's do that. And, uh. Ugh, you have to stop taxing it. Oh no. Oh well, I don't need income, it's fine. Alright, I'm going to attack this army. Hopefully you can drag some others out. Ambush. You know, I actually wanted to not be successful for once. But you can't choose whether it ambushes or not. Which is very frustrating. So I just have to go ahead and do that. Um, execute captives, get some more experience. Cool. Lame. Right, uh... Extra missile damage, faction wide, pretty great. That's pretty wonderful. And the rest of the wicked is pretty wonderful. Some good stuff, you know. Some good stuff. Very good stuff here. Um, I do also want to start going towards here, but still. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, we can actually get, wow, 12% extra. That's huge. So yeah, now they're on to 36. 37 for that one. Uh, let's see. Fewest amount of chevrons, still 34. That's wild. I love it. Right, you there. Hard to hit. Excellent. And also got Herald of the Wind. Well, we've got access to them. Okay, he's starting to recruit. Which I think is good, because it means he'll soon actually try and attack. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in his territory now. So I have to attack or not. I guess I can attack and then flee. So let's do that. Good. Job done. Okay. Uh, how much do I need for an ambush? Uh, 25. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, I mean, it's still a pretty good chance to ambush here. So, in fact, I think it's the same chance of where I'm stood now. Yeah, 85%. 85% just out in the open, though, is wild. 85% on a road. That is amazing. That's crazy good. Uh, so, do I want to make another one of these? Hmm. It's a tough one. Kind of want these guys to cheer up so I can actually tax them. But... Building it here seems a bit rubbish, but I guess I've got to build it somewhere, right? So, I guess I will build a plaza. Because we would have income as well, which is kind of nice, but... Oh well, moving on. Oh, ambush foiled. Of course it was. 
Alright, so I can attack that again, and hopefully it'll drag the army out. I just don't want to do a siege, is the thing. So, another ambush. Damn it. Get a lot of experience doing this, though, so that's something. Exterminator. Okay, more leadership against Gaven. Makes sense. And uh, we are actually getting a bunch of levels from doing this, so I'm kind of cool with it. Um, oh, wow, well, and that actually lets your... That lets the fake start doing damage as well, so I can have more archers, essentially. I can just have another archer turn up and start shooting things. That's kind of cool. Huh. Okay, yeah, I kind of like that. Also, plus four public order in all provinces. That fixes a lot of problems. That's wild. Alright, anyway, you um, run in and then retreat. And then ambush. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous campaign I think I've played in a while. I love it. Ambush foiled again. Every time. Every time. Okay. Uh, oh, bodied Ithelmar Steed. Do I want to get that now, or do I want to wait until I get the chariot? It's only rank 12 to get that, so actually I'll wait. Might as well. Uh, let's go replenish troops some more. See, so I'll wait for the chariot, and once again, let's attack here. Another ambush. One day I won't be successful ambushing. And... Oh, actually survived. Really? That's weird. Huh. That's very weird that he survived. Alright. Good attacker. Yeah. Yep. Very good attackers. Okay, good. And then, uh, oh, hang on a minute. You're actually in a forest now. You are. So, what's the range of this ambush? Just about touches that, so that might, if they decide to go over the walls. Over the road, rather. Okay, another level up. Just killing one dude and then getting a level up is really... It feels cheating to me. But, um... Also... I'm so, like, many turns in, and I've done nothing yet, so I'm quite happy just to spam some levels for him. Um, I think he needs it. So, let's have a look here. Uh, hmm. Don't really need that anymore. They're really happy. So let's get rid of it. I know, a bit of a waste, but it is what it is. And let's start taxing him again. Done. Uh, it's on plus five, and that gives plus two. So, yeah. Yeah, may as well get rid of it. Perfect. <laughs> and Dredge is running off the other way. Of course he is. Let's just take Hotex column then. Oh, he's gone. That's all I wanted. I just wanted an opportunity to actually, like, have an advantage. I can't have a bunch of even fights with uh, Alithanar. He's too flimsy. Need to, need to make sure I only strike when I have an advantage. Oh, hello? Uh, a powerful mage, once schooled in the ancient ways first developed by the mighty Kalidor Dragon Tamer, has pledged his allegiance to you. Elves of such distinction who have immersed themselves completely in the study of high magic should be retained and deployed in your service to the detriment of his enemies. So cool, we have, um... What? Wait, what? No, over here. Are you... Odd. Uh, also, shadows, hell yeah. That's wild, love it. Uh, let's go with that one. Why not? And you can get some trinkets? Yeah, sounds good. Elven craftsman it is. Cool. So yeah, you start heading over here. Um, I guess I'll need to make room for a... Get rid of a spearman, I suppose. Actually, get rid of the archers. I'll get rid of the archers. I'm not going to need them. Alright, in you get. And... High off battering ram. Good. And if, um, uh, what's his face? Uh, how have I forgotten his name? Tretch. That's the one. Come on, say Snitch. No, Tretch. If Tretch decides to come and bail this place out, it means I have a nice fight, um, you know, in open air, in an open area. So uh, that's great. That's perfect. So I'm happy with that. So, um, yeah, let's get the batching round done and we'll be able to auto resolve that. That'd be nice and easy. Cool. Finally. Finally making some progress here. Alright, Sword of Cain claimed again. Brayhead's come. Out of the forest they emerge. Yeah, yeah. You do that. Ah, here we go. Cool. Might attack them. That'd be fun. Right, so let's auto-resolve here. Job done. 
So we managed to lose 120 people, because of course we did. So let's occupy that. And now they got the capital. Um, oh, good. It's already got, already got a colonnade. Perfect. So, yeah. I want this place to be happy. And then I can take these places over. So what I might do now in Blacklight Tower is recruit a new lord. Uh, Amber success chance plus 30%. That's really cool. That's very cool. Oh, it will cost me a bunch of influence. I always forget about that. 60 is the most, though, isn't it? So these are the best best ones I can get. Uh, ooh. I don't know. Mm. I mean, that is pretty great to have a big cavalry heavy thing. That missile damage would have been great if it was something else. You know, for my shadow warriors or something. Just keep going with them. Uh, that is pretty great, though. About to have, like, a cavalry army. Hmm. I mean, that load upkeep, that's going to make them pretty affordable. That is tough. Although, I do like the ambush chance. I do really like that. So I'm going to try it. Um, I don't know if the ambush, like, chance is specifically for Lithanar or not. Let's have a look. So... Raven Lord. Ambush says Charles plus 25. Yeah. Okay. I think that does mean that's a faction trait then. See, I think it is a faction trait that gives um, the ability to ambush, like, whatever, you know? When you attack, it has a chance to ambush. I think that's just his faction. So, actually, that extra chance to ambush from her is going to be super useful. So, uh, yeah, not going to get the steed yet. Um, let's go with the speed of a Syrian, because that will be useful when he's got a chariot. Let him zip around. Okay, so... Hmm. So yeah, I want to get them back. So I think just, yeah, I'm not going to create an army for her. I'm just going to have her take this stuff for now. Hopefully she won't die. <laughs> so, you know, just hopefully she won't die. I think they did actually get raised, but it could just be that they're escaping living in these places now. In which case, that's no help at all. So, we'll see. I might send a Lithanar to go to them, actually. I'm not going to have him take the places. Because, you know, I don't want to lose his army doing that. Although it would be cheaper. So it would mean I could actually afford to build. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe recruiting that... Um, that lord was sort of a pointless exercise. Not sure. Not sure yet. And there's raiding our territory. Is under attack, my lord. The winds of magic shriek and eddy about it in strange formations, for a mighty ritual is underway in some distant land. The power of the ritual pulls and distorts the vortex, yet there remains a chance to intervene. Find the whereabouts of those that channel the ritual and attack before its completion, my lord. Control of the vortex must not fall into enemy hands. Okay, this is great, because we're actually really near um, to Nagarond, and I would actually like to attack and disrupt them, um, and just wipe out the faction, if possible. Because, yeah, they're pretty close. We're nowhere. We're nowhere yet. We're, we're doing pathetically. But that doesn't matter. Because, yeah, I mean, it takes, it takes the enemy so long to get this done, and when they do the last ritual, we can just go, we can just intervene when they're at the last ritual. And, uh, yeah, then that's it. They're out of the race. So really don't have to worry. Uh, so, opposing ritual started. The Great Vortex fluctuates. The stuff of chaos drawn to it fast, then slow, then fast again, flickering like the heart of a vole beneath a hawk's shadow. Someone interferes with the Great Enchantment, and whether the design of that meddling be towards stabilizing the Vortex or otherwise, it cannot be allowed to stand. Rivals eye the cities from which this ritual energies emanate, and ready their forces. Well, damn. Cool. Right. Uh, yep. All the things. All the things. Uh, oh, cheaper recruitment costs for phoenixes. <laughs> handy. Very handy. So, in the expression of deep and abiding respect for their winged mounts, a detachment of phoenix guard has journeyed to the shrine of Asurian and performed a ritual of Akshi. Wakshai. I never really know how to pronounce it. Anyway, uh, the wind of fire. Thus invigorated, Akshai blows hard and fierce, in turn suffusing the flame spire phoenix with a newfound vitality. Even the frost heart phoenixes are impressed with this gift to their younger brethren. As a result, phoenix recruitment costs have fallen faction-wide. 
Yay. Oh, and that's not in my territory. Perfect. Uh, right, do I want to scout these places out now or not? That's the question. Uh, ooh, that could be fun. Hmm. Eh. Do I want some more trade goods? Probably. Probably. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably go ahead and do that. Cool. So, how are you for happiness? Pretty bad because of the corruption. Is there actually something I can build yet? No. No, I can't build that yet. Crap. Okay, then, yes. I'll just build the iron. And you'll have to take out the rest so I can get the um, uh, the, the corruption... Uh, what's it called? Thingy, what's it? You know. Thing what you do. The thing. Commandment. There we go. I know words. Got all the best words. Right, you... Yeah, you head that way, and Elith and I, you head that way. Alright, and they'll just have to be a little bit miserable, but I've got time. I've got time to get there. Okay, I do have time. So, we'll have a, we'll have a couple of heroes in his army. It's a very nice army, I've got to say. This is, a, this is a very nice army. I mean, obviously it'd be better if this eagle was a star dragon, and if all the rest of these units were star dragons, but still. It's pretty good is pretty good. Let's go with the elven trinkets? Yeah. No. No, I'm not. I'm going to wait, because I might be able to take both of these in a single turn next turn, so let's wait. Uh, Yeah, sure. That one next. I'm just going through all the research that like I don't need. <laughs> oh, it would be nice to upgrade that, though. But nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. I want to get this I want to get this whole uh, area on lockdown. Clanarictus want peace, I'm assuming, for nothing, though. Ugh. What can they give me, I wonder? Give me all your money, and I'll think about it. No, then. That's when they turn up and take my capital again. Well, the capital of that province. Uh, no, Redhorn Tribar. Get out of my house. Well, I'm going to have to wipe them out soon. Uh, another ritual started. Clan Wars. So, that's two rituals. That's a pain. That's a pain. Uh, invocation of Morai, uh, Morai Heg has happened. So, I will want to get this ritual done again, but it's expensive. So, that's a pickle. That is definitely a pickle. Okay, yeah, they did take it. So, I'm gonna... Ooh, you know what? Searching the ruins might be nice. Oh, do I need this on lockdown just yet? Uh, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the puzzles. Screw it, I'm doing the puzzles. So, um, throughout the world, the old ones left vast troves of power for use by their most trusted servants. To prevent such power falling into the wrong hands, they placed wards and cryptographic locks over them. As millennia have passed, these wards have weakened, but the arcane locks remain. All right. Cool. So, um, to access this treasure, solve the puzzle. Solitude is always desired. So, alright. Uh, so there's two of those. There's two of those. It's only one of them, but that... Oh, that is an option. There's only one of them. So I think that's the only option. Yeah, there's two of those. So it's this one. So it's that. Puzzle succeeded. Got some extra cash. Got potion strength. And we got a bunch of wave fragments. Not bad. Pretty good haul, actually. Pretty good haul. Now, again, hopefully... Yep, that did get raised. I know I'm saying hopefully it got raised. I mean, obviously with them being raised, that's a bit rubbish, but uh, still. Search the ruins. Oh, it's one of the Sudoku ones. He's a little a little more taxing, but actually, uh, it's not too bad, given how much stuff we've been given, how many clues. So, um, throughout the world, the old one... It's the same text before. To solve the treasure, solve the puzzle. The old one, Tepok the Inscrutable, never liked to repeat himself. So, basically, it's, uh, it's Sudoku. Is what it is. Just Sudoku. So, uh, that would be a... So, look at this, right? So, one, uh, three, and then that'll have to be um, either two or four. In these two, be the two or four, right? But you can see there's a four here, which means this must be a two, which means this must be a four. So, that can't be a four. Okay? So, this can't be a four. Then the next row, because that's a two, so we've got four and a two. Uh, and that's a two and a four as well, which isn't helpful. But a four and a two and a four and a three... So we can't have a 3 there, which means this is a 3, which means this is a 1. So it can't be a 2 and a 1. So that, no, it can't be a 2 and a 4. So, well, it can't be a 2, so it must be a 1. But then the colours as well is the problem. Ah. Yeah, that's going to be what trips us up. That's going to be what trips us up. Yeah, because there's no blue or reds there. 
But there's not a red there, or a blue. So those two will still be the same colours. Here, though, there's blue or red, so... Uh, in these two, it's blue or red. So it could be either. Huh. Uh, I can't see a clue. I can't see a clue that would suggest it. Honestly. Not at a glance. Okay, uh... I'm going to have to guess. It's 50-50. I'll just guess. Screw it. Let's go with the blue one. Crap. It was the other one. Well, I lost 50-50 guess. Alright. Well, that's probably a good time to end the uh, episode then. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, then please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.